Hello students, today's topic is synthesis of deoxyribonucleotides. So these are precursors of DNA and are formed from reduction of the 2' prime hydroxyl group in the ribose moiety of the ribonucleotides and it is uh, reduced to and it is replaced by the hydrogen atom to form the deoxyribonucleotides. Uh, the enzyme riponucleotide reductase. So the reaction is like this ribonucleotide diphosphates are converted into deoxy ribonucleotide. diphosphates the enzyme ribo nucleotide reductase so this 2 prime hydroxyl group is replaced by hydrogen atom by this enzyme here in this reaction another protein known as thyroid reduction is required so reduced thioredoxin is converted into oxidized thioredoxin and reduced form is regenerated from the oxidized form by the enzyme thioredoxin thioredoxin reductase and this reaction needs the coenzyme NADPH so that is how the ribonucleotide di diphosphates are converted into its corresponding deoxyribonucleotides Now the formation of the deoxyribonucleotide thymidine monophosphate. It is formed from the deoxyribonucleotide deoxyridine monophosphate by methylation. This is a methylation reaction. Methylation of UMP occurs to form uh, thymidine monophosphate and the name of the enzyme is thymidylate synthetase thymidylate synthase thymidylate synthase and the methyl donor in this reaction is N5 N10 N5 N10 methylene tetrahydrofolic acid <coughs> it is converted into dihydrofolic acid dihydrofolic acid again forms tetrahydrofolic acid <coughs> by the enzyme dihydrofolic acid reductase NADPH is required and tetrahydrofolic acid can be converted into N5 N10 methylene tetrahydrofolic acid with subsequent conversion of serine to glycine by the enzyme serine hydroxymethyl transferase 
acid in hydroxymethyl transferase. Now, rapidly dividing cells require an abundant supply of TMP for the synthesis of DNA. So, the vulnerability of these cells to the inhibition of TMP synthesis has been exploited in the treatment of cancer. So, thymidylate synthase and the dihydrofolate reductase are choices of targets for chemotherapy. So, there is one drug known as 5 fluorouracil, 5 FU or 5 fluorouracil. So, in our body, when we take it, it is converted into fluorodeoxyuridylate or FDUMP. And this fluorodeoxyuridylate inhibits the, the enzyme thymidylate synthase. And this is a type of suicide inhibition. Suicide inhibition. as it uses the enzymes catalytic machinery to inhibit this enzyme. Another drug is, anti-cancer drug is there known as aminopterin and amethopterin. or commonly known as methotrexate. They are competitive inhibitors of dihydrofolate reductase. So these drugs are used as anti-cancer agents. So this is how the deoxyribonucleotides are synthesized. Now regulation of synthesis of deoxyribonucleotides. So regulation occurs by two, two ways. Number one is regulation of the overall activity overall enzyme activity so ADP GDP UDP and CDP this ribonucleotide diphosphates are converted into the corresponding deoxyribonucleotide diphosphate DADP, DZDP, DUDP, and DCDP by ribonucleotide reductase. And this deoxyribonucleotide diphosphates are converted into the corresponding deoxy ribonucleotide triphosphate DATP, DGTP, DTTP and DCTP. This DATP inhibits the enzyme ribonucleotide reductase because it signals the abundance of the deoxyribonucleotides and ATP activates this enzyme because <coughs> there is more ribonucleotides so they have to be converted into deoxyribonucleotides so this is the regulation of overall activity next is the regulation of substrate specificity substrate specificity again I am writing this equation ADP, DADP, DATP, GDP, DZDP, DZTP, ADP, DUDP. D, UTP, CDP, T, CDP, and D, CTP. Now this D, ATP. It increases the substrate specificity of this 
uh, substrates and it activates this reaction then uh, DGTP activates this reaction then sorry this one is TTP it enhances the substrate specificity of this reaction then it inhibits then TTP will inhibit its own formation okay so this is the regulation of substrate specificity now there is an applied aspect of diopsy ribonucleotide synthesis and folic acid deficiency during pregnancy so during pregnancy if the folic acid is deficient there is decreased amount of this tetrahydrofolic acid and N5 and 10 methylene tetrahydrofolic acid so the formation of DTMP from DUMP will be decreased so there is decreased DNA synthesis during development of the fetus and because of their death there is incomplete or incorrect formation of the neural tube neural tube so the spinal cord of the baby uh, forms incorrectly or there is incomplete formation and which leads to a birth defect known as spina bifida that is why uh, folic acid tablets are given during and uh, before the first trimester of pregnancy to prevent development of spina bifida so this is about synthesis of deoxyribonucleases